All right, all that's left is the is the filling for the apple pie. Welcome back, everybody, to Echo Power Volume One. We're 21 minutes into this dang thing and realized it wasn't even recording. I'm, it wasn't even recording my voice, and I'm very upset. I'm very upset. Matter of fact, let me check something right now while I'm thinking about it. You hear my voice? Yes, you are. All right, let's keep going. I remember as I ran my fingers down the prep sheets to confirm. I looked at the clock and saw that it was past 9 o'clock. Although studying for the bell exam took up my time, I still had enough energy to do preparations on a, on a day off. I can totally read. I was not listening to any of this. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. You sure got there quickly. Again, I'm... I'm not gonna make the comment again. You don't need to make my Shigure. Yeah, I already know that's gonna happen. Shigure and the others were gone, but it hadn't been more than two hours since they had started their independent study. I suppose they were now able to do multiplications or something. Uh, they were able to do something small like that. Close! I didn't think that far ahead. I stayed silent so that that's not up in the spirits. Like this? Well, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. She did that, even with vanilla. Well, exactly what, what was she trying to show off to me? Okay. Like this? Uh, how about this then? Oh, she's holding back so hard. She's holding back so hard. Look at that erect tail. Look at that erect tail. I didn't even realize that when I first when I first started this episode. I was like, oh my gosh. Pierce the heavens with those drills, baby! Oh <laughs> my drill is the drill that pierced the heavens! Cause it can! You'll probably be next near her during the test too, you know. I couldn't shake the fact that this was just an excuse out of her. Given Vanilla's quietness, she was honestly trying not to lose a chocola. Which is quite right. You both failed! Hmm. From this list, huh? I scanned over the questions of previous tests from the tea sheet. There really were a lot of questions of various cat girl behavior. Okay, why don't we go in order from the top then? Yes, she were. Don't worry. Again, that that English, that English is so good.
Okay then. Fail! Resistance of sniff test. Fail. By the way, the finger... What this finger... What these fingers touched earlier was blue cheese. Okay, you failed the Fleming's response test as well. Go on to the next one. Okay, next! Laughing in the face test also fell. No way. <laughs> Feather Laura test failed. Catnip test also failed. The catnip, the, their first, ta their first time on catnip, and they're basically little drunks. One second. There we go. That's perfect. Will they really be fine after all this? Well, it's the first day anyway. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. Come on, if you're gonna sleep, do it in your own beds. You two really are a pain. Go on, let's go. I got a grip on you, so stand up. This is not good at all. I can't help but feel bad. I can't help but feel this is bad. I thought about it as I carried the two drunken cat girls to their bed. After that, I threw myself completely into reading the cheat sheets. Because I wanted to know what the f*** was going on. Oh, welcome home, you two. Any problems with the delivery or payment? They have their bells. Hallelujah. Uh. The brand new bells around Shuggle Vanilla's necks were glittering brightly. Shuggle had a silver color bell, and Vanilla a gold color one. With, with proof that they had become independent cat girls, they both had blossoming smiles, full of pride on their faces. Well, they were really close to failing though. That's true. Oh, alright, alright. You two are those last Solans star poster girl poster cat girls. I answered rubbing them beheads as always. Actually this was the first time they had received delivery orders from customers. 
With my cell phone, I was able to check up on them to make sure that everything was all right. Every few minutes, the, the GPS on the bells. I really do. I really did want to follow behind them, but I restrained myself. It was their first errand, so naturally, as their owner, I was fright with worry and couldn't sit still. That sounds like every parent. <laughs> No, we cannot do that. I wasn't going to acknowledge you, but since when did I have such interest? I didn't think having a bell was a qualification to be an entertainer. Perhaps there was some sort of additional vocabulary they had learned while studying for the exam. It didn't seem like they were any different from before, though. Okay, I'll think of something special. Don't get your hopes up, though, okay? Taking a bath with me is completely out of the question, though. I wouldn't. I would be opposed. <laughs> but saying that is a bit of a pain, so I wouldn't mention anything. I'm totally going to do it again. Uh, I did it before, but you're totally bouncing with excitement. That's how happy you are. Ouch, ouch, stop, that hurts. They're still doing it. Hold on, wait a second, what? Don't say things that are deliberately confused, Shuffle. I told you not to do that, you trickster. Are you too clever? Well, I suppose I can agree with her though. She is rather cute when she's selling. She looks beyond cute when she's in silky, when she's all silky like that. Ah, look, we're running out of lowest plus. I'm going to have to go and, go and buy a couple of things on break. Yes, yes, you, you're happy. Let's stop. Well, isn't it? There isn't a lot of time, so we need to get going. Today I was. Today was another, just another day in Los Angeles. Oh gosh, it's really dark. Maybe it's today off for today, or maybe they only work when there's lots of people around. Peach fuzz is really good in there, too. Perhaps it's time to shave. Maybe that's what it's like to shave this off, too. Man, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be bald soon. Very soon. Well, we'll see them again someday. You never know. We'll probably see them sometime in the future. Battle? We crossed the path, the park path that we had gone used to walking. There was a gentle breeze blowing in from the coast. From the coast. The faintly salt breeze, breeze blew into their squinted eyes. Squinted eyes. They're totally not squinting at all, though. You see me? Look at my face. 
look at this. Um, do you see these eyes? They're very squinted. Very squinted. Compared to these girls, man. I'm, I'm totally Asian. Stop, Marky. I turned around and saw a bench of that. I saw a, I saw a bench into my vision. Well, there's still time, so why don't we take a break? Thank you very much, Miss Vanilla. I gave I gave a po grateful poster girl poster cat girl money. With light steps, Vanilla walked towards the vending machines, leaving me with chocolate all along. That's right. Just like this, huh? She was talking about the day I moved after I moved. It seems like it was quite a while ago now. I wonder how things would have turned out if I had ended up on my own. Chuckle looked fondly at me. That's true. No reason to talk to talk about the ifs and buts. That's a very important. This is a, I made I made the same rant like if, on the last the first time I did this. You cannot think about the ifs, buts, what could have and what should have been. If you do, you won't change, and you won't get anything done. Nothing, nothing, nothing ever gets done. I tried my hardest to become to become someone that I could actually be. And I'm, I, I like my, I like myself right now. What I'm doing, I actually enjoy. I'm just God. Spring break, I cannot wait because it is it is literally this upcoming week, and there's a lot I'm thinking about while I'm doing the spring break because also in spring break this series will be finished I will finish this um I'll finish up volume one and I will start volume two on the 21st my birthday so I'm gonna be very happy happy birthday to me in a week so if I, I'm gonna come back and watch this video in one week I'll be happy birthday to me. we good we are all good Hmm? It's not? What do you mean? Also, another thing. On the same subject, I was thinking about the ifs and buts. Stop just looking at the positive stuff. You you can't be like... You can't keep thinking about the positive... You can't stop thinking about the positive stuff. And constantly worry about the negatives. If you do, you're just going to destroy yourself. It's not worth it. And also, let me turn on my light because it's very dark in here. And now my face is too bright. Now I'm totally pale looking. But yeah, you cannot keep worrying about the dark side of things. If you keep looking at the wrong dark side, if you fill yourself with hatred, you are going to be like Alex. Shots fired. Um, we, 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 we know. He don't mean no harm. He don't mean no harm. He good. He a good guy. Good guy, Alex. But... If you keep worrying about the stuff that's going wrong, and you just want to punch things, you go and go. You go and go wrong. It's it's obviously going to go wrong for you. Not understanding what she meant, I asked again. She closed her eyes a bit, and I could see a faintly mischievous smile creep across her face. <laughs> What's this? Is it stuck? I think my keyboard um, tray is stuck. Whatever. Chocolate. Unexpectedly, my head began to beat loudly. Not mine. Because I know this is fake. But I love it so much because it is fake. My face fell flushed. <laughs> I couldn't bear looking at such a genuine smile any longer. As I avert my gaze away, the color of her silver bell caught my caught my eye. I always thought of her like a daughter, but she's growing up with each passing day.
<laughs> Once again, I realized something said obvious. <laughs> That's a good deep breath, cooling my flesh face. Ugh. Please always be my side, by my side from here on out. I'm so happy you're with me. I answered her honestly. I rubbed Chocolate's head more gently than usual. <laughs> What's wrong, Chocolate? You say it's nothing, but... Sweet smell, huh? I tried to smell what she was talking about. That's not sweet. Of course, I didn't smell anything sweet. That's see? This feels so much better. She let out a long, feverish sigh. As she sighed, she gazed downwards with her face flushed red. She glanced up at me, her eyes gleaming. She gave her hands. She gave her hands tightly. She squeezed her hands tightly in front of her chest. As she said that to me with a sorrowful voice and forlorn look on her face. That somehow felt a bit different than before. I knew she was happy, but it seemed like she was holding something back at the same time. Yeah, that's a love, bro. She's totally in heat. She wasn't like her usual feverish, energetic self. Feverish. It's almost as if... What the frick? What the frick? Ugh. You two surprised me. You, you two surprised me too. I wasn't doing anything other than rubbing Chocolate's head like always. That face she makes! Wait up, wait up, wait up! You're pretty heavy there, Vanilla-san. That's not what I meant. Come on up! Oh god, I'm, I'm getting bad. I'm getting very bad. Oh god, I'm about to get... Good thing I got these big juicy cows. You can sit on this lap. We can call it that. Before that, you two, you don't, you two do know about the concept of public morals in society, right? In any case, please get off my lap. Seriously, now. Before I knew it, Chocolate was with her old self again. Well, as long as she's happy, there's nothing to worry about, but... In the end, my break time ended up not feeling like a break at all. And was completely spent with two with the two of them. Well, guys, we can do this right now. We're going to end the episode here. Thank 
you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>